What's up guys? Today we're gonna to talk about what not to say when you're talking to a live prospect. What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Ricky Carruth. Today we're gonna to discuss what not to say when you're cold calling property owners. You can watch me make live cold calls and get my entire circle prospecting system, including phone scripts in the link below. So when we're cold calling property owners around a listing or a sale, it doesn't have to be our listing or sale, we're just calling around any listing or sale. We're trying to inform the subdivision about the recent market information and just see if there's anything in the world we can do for them. This conversation is gonna to lead to a, a relationship that's gonna to lead to deals, repeat business, referrals, so on and so forth. Every relationship that you create with the property owner in your area is potentially worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. So it's my job to help you create these relationships and make sure we're saying the right things and not saying the wrong things. If you haven't watched the video of me making cold calls, check it out. You'll see exactly how I handle the situations. You'll see my tone, my demeanor, what my objectives are, and really what I'm trying to do, which is just literally help these people. If you're scared to make cold calls, I also made a video about how to get over your fear of making cold calls. Now when you're calling property owners, here's something that you absolutely do not need to say. Ring, 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 hello. Hey, this is Ricky Carruth, Remakes Orange Beach. Hey, I'm just calling all the owners in your subdivision to let them know about blah, blah, blah. Right, you do not want to say that you're just calling all the people in the subdivision, all the owners in the subdivision, you're just calling that neighborhood, you don't want to say anything like that because that could potentially make that property owner feel like they are just another number to you. You're on this big list of people I'm just calling, I'm just going through the motions of calling everybody and just letting them know about this information and to see if I can maybe get a deal out of it. You're making them feel like they're just another number, you're just going through the motions trying to do a deal. This is not the impression we want to give off to them. We want them to feel special. We want to feel like this is almost a personal call. For one thing, we want to call them with the same tone that we would call a friend or a family member. Very relaxed, very calming, very confident, very comfortable. We're going to say, ring, 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 hello. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing today? Good, good. Yeah, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? That's how you start the conversation and you want to have a tone as if you're friend or family. Then we're going to say, I got gotcha. you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road sold. I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. They're probably going to say no. There's nothing you can do for them at the time. This is not the moment to say, I got gotcha. you. Well, who do you know that might want to buy or sell in the area? What this does is it turns it right back around on you. Now you're not there for them, you're there for you. It's like, hey, Mr. Property Owner, you can't help me by buying or selling, so do you know anyone else that might be able to help me by buying or selling? Nothing about who do you know that might wanna buy or sell says I'm here for you. Then that's a red flag to the property owner and they say to themselves, huh, Here's another realtor just trying to do another deal, not looking out for the client's best interest, only looking out for their self. So what I would say there is, is when they say no, you say, I got gotcha. you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? You see, that actually lets you find out if the door is open or not to begin this relationship with this property owner for the future when they do decide that it's time for them to buy or sell something. You see, this opens the door. When they say no, we're gonna say, I got gotcha. you, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future you're gonna wanna buy or sell something. I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch? Sure. Great, what's your email address? That's how I stay in touch with people. Boom, you get the email, you do a weekly email on the same day of the week forever and you have a client for life. They'll call you when they get ready to buy or sell. You can follow up by phone periodically, make sure they're getting their emails, and boom, boom, boom. Another thing I'm not gonna say though to get the email is, is hey, can I send you market information from time to time? Can I send you my market report, my market updates? I don't wanna say anything like that because there again, it's gonna make them feel like they're just another number. You're gonna put them on this long list of people and send this email blast out to everybody and they're just gonna kinda get this big email blast. No, when you say, I wanna stay in touch with you, what's your email address, it sounds more personal. So I know some of the stuff that I just told you not to say is probably things that you've been taught to say, but that's kind of part of my mission. I wanna break down the mainstream training and I wanna actually 
teach agents how to really create lifelong relationships with property owners in the area and eat up that market share and become a force to be reckoned with, become the number one agent in their area. That's what I want to see. I want to see you become the number one agent in your area and I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen for you. I enjoyed telling you guys what not to say when talking to property owners. I really hope you got something out of it. Let me know if you have any questions. Click subscribe and hit the bell for God's sake and I'll talk to you soon.